Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Goblin Stone, a roguelike that is said to be a hybridization of, like, a Darkest Dungeon and a Slay the Spire with potentially even hints of something like a Hearthstone, which I... I like all three of those things. Let's see how this goes it, as a result. Uh, first of all, I gotta say, the visuals, the music on, on the menu bonkers so good so like that that has me uh very interested already so let us pop on in game is in development yes so this is a demo version uh there will be a demo coming out on steam shortly soon that you guys will be able to play as well uh but yeah it's going to be coming out in early access at at some point goblins born with hype wait oh i missed it return home new quest Return home after a long journey abroad. Your company of goblins have finally returned to their homeland. Guide them safely to their lair. Okay. They enter a deeper part. Oh my god. The scent of danger lingers heavy. Uh, look at that. I just the, the visuals are so good. So we can pick our... We have our, our goblins. Here you can manage your party. You can see each goblin's stats, abilities, and equipment. You can reorder their combat positions. We have Slahu for Snow Reeler, Veil Dowser, Peep Teller. Peep Teller. Uh, okay, so we use a Peon, Raider, Peon, Raider. Uh, you know what? We could look at what they all do, or we could just wait until combat and sort of see... Wait, I saw the word outfits. I saw the word outfit. Oh, I see what it's... I see, I see, I see. All right. On we go. I, I'm i really like... I'm sorry. I'm just impressed. I, I, it's it's rare that I'm impressed already, you know? Holy moly. Okay. We'll see how, we'll see how the combat actually and everything works, though. The actual gameplay. An adventure rests. Quietly they sneak. Nope. We do not move quietly. Battle. Good. I want to good. I love the narration too. Combat is turn based. Everyone falls in line to attack. Kill all the enemies to win the battle. Everyone will move to the center along this time bar. Okay. When the character reaches the middle, their turn starts. Interesting. Slaw Hoofer, it's your turn. Select an attack. So, I can only imagine. So, this is cost 20. 20 of. Oh, 20, like, move of this movement here? Ah, I see. It costs 20. It, it is how much back we are going to be delayed. I see. Oh, that's interesting that it doesn't cost mana or anything like that. I like that. I really like that. Got a little bit of uh, wiggling going on here. If the enemy is undamaged, inflict bleed and deal two damage. Attack with the sword, inflict 20% uh, chance to inflict bleed. I mean, I feel like first blood, logically, it would make sense. To pop that on him, since he's guaranteed to get that bleed there. After attacking, position then changes. One of your goblins is tired. This happens after using an expensive ability. Tired goblins take more damage. But he's also in the back. So what is an expensive ability? Is that anything that is uh, orange or higher? So why can't we use this? Because there's nobody in the back line. Okay. Okay. Uh, inflicting stun. Smack, an unarmed <laughs> attack causing five damage. I, I like this little kind of, this shuffling kind of a gameplay. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I really, oh, I really like that. I really like that at all. Uh, at, at all, a lot. Wow. If the enemy is already bleeding, remove the bleed and deal 10 damage plus 200% of any undealt bleed damage. All right. Seems like a very good thing to go for. Oh my god, Veil Dowser. You from behind iron bars. Okay. Let's open this up. I'm busy. Take all. How many goblins can we have in our party? Joins their company. This fellow is clad in armor. Okay. So this is our quest. How did we get back to the uh Let me just click here. Crud <laughs> Crud sliver. I mean, it feels like the, uh, well, actually, we want the raider and then maybe crud silver. Sliver? Crud silver. Intercept the next two attacks of the target enemy. Oh, okay. 
so he doesn't necessarily need to be in the front. Uh, stun a damaged enemy for the next 150 time units. Attacks made against you will return 50% of the damage and stun the attacker. Next 150 time units. Attacks made against you will trigger a shockwave that stuns all enemies, dealing 10 damage to each. Very neat, very neat. Okay, so we can have six. It's like Pokemon. We got we got ourselves a Pokemon party. God, I can't they get over the visuals. Upon a carcass concealed by the stench. A small trove of unclaimed meat and giblets. Okay, converts four food at the end. Wait. Uh, converts two four food at the end of the adventure. Can be used to heal goblins. Partial bone with some pieces splinter off. Sells for ten. Bristly pelt commonly obtained from local fauna. I don't Scallions know if there's just crafting or if that's just like stuff that we're going to be able to sell. We shall see. Oh, hello there. Hi there, buddy. They happen upon a downtrodden orc still clad in rags and shackles. At his feet, a freshly dug grave adorned with a bone club buried in the barrow. The goblins timorously disturb the orc in his morning. Uneasily, they speak to him, ask about a nearby ruin in these woods. Barely noticing their presence, the orc wipes away a tear with one hand as he raises the other to give direction. Politely thanking the grieving orc, the goblins discreetly withdraw and leave him to his sorrow. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, mister. Out we shall go. So wait, that's our inventory there. What was this one? This feature's still in... Okay, so there's a map. Just still in development. An old forgotten watchtower. Held fast by a great Look forest that. tree. Oh, man. Like, I, I, I don't mind the just the normal uh, walking through the empty kind of rooms in this. It's it's pleasant. Okay. Oh, we got an adventure. Is there anything we can do to sneak up? I don't think so. I, I like the like overworld. This feels very RPG, you know, like a Paper Mario s kind of a. I don't know. I say Paper Mario because I love that game. I, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Ah, uh, but you know, tons of games do where you have the overworld character. You run into them. Now we fight. I like that you you know you actually get the you time to prep taken to if you want to change things around. Easy. All right. Oh shoot! Salah Hoofer doesn't have that was Veil Dowser that had the the move I was thinking of. No. I thought that they had the same moves. I actually, I mean, I like that they don't have the same moves. Uh, okay, so the crude chiseled stick class is rated. That changes what their base attack is. The uh, the item they have equipped in that slot. Crude wooden stool. Wait, wait, jeans? Hold on, what? Appearance, lean, straight ears, medium nose. No remarkable genes. Parents? Parents? Lineage? Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. I may have a new most anticipated game. Oh no. I am preemptively very disappointed that this is only a demo. I am preemptively very disappointed this is only a demo. All right. Bash. Attack with your shield, deal 8 damage, and then 10% chance to stun. For next time units, all attacks will be made against you. Uh, oh, wait, no, attacks are made, made against you will trigger a stun wave. So he goes second. Okay, I was going to say, like, the one my, my one potential issue with this was about um, being able to tell on a very quick dime, you know, whether or not who's going next, but it does just tell us second, third. So that's nice. Uh... I don't think that that really matters that much. I thought it was the taunt, but he's probably not going to take any hits, is the thing. Yeah, first blood doesn't really matter that much here. I love the little roll, too. Come on, peep teller. Oh! So, peep teller, throw a stone at the enemy, inflicting stun and three damage. You can only target enemies in the back. I mean... 
So what exactly does a stun do in this game? Does it make it so they stay in this this position? We'll have to see. Can we add to the stun? We can add to the stun. It's it got like full up there. Okay. Interesting. Is he just staying there? It sure kind of looked like it. Okay, that's really good. Uh, intercept the next two attacks. Or I think we might as well just um, go for the aggressive. Since we did those stuns and we, we bought ourselves a lot of time to go before them this way. Boink. Goblins getting get boink, doinker. So we get to go again next here. Ah, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get him before he gets to go again. But still. Can hardly be mad. Lucky swing. <laughs> Peep teller! I wonder, like, there's got to be, like, different moves that adjust, uh, like, their placement. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll have to really consider the, the cost of the everything you're playing. Because it'll make a difference whether or not they're going to be vulnerable. Like, you'll have to, to big brain it and line things up. Converts to three food at the end of the adventure can be used to heal goblins. So, we can open this up and just... Ah, oh, wow, it's not very much. Oh, it's not very much at all. Full tummy. Full tummy! Oh, I can't eat anymore. Well, we're gonna get another goblin. This is garbed in peculiar vestments. It appears quite grateful and joins the group. Okay, so this one is Fists. His name? Oh, no. I thought his name was Fists. Uh, okay, so this is Much Mamer. Much Mamer. He is a shaman. Crude magic rock. So we can uh, attack your, with your trinket. Deal five damage. Targets any enemy. That's nice. Gives an ally uncanny speed. It will move twice as fast for 15 time units. Okay. Shock an enemy, dealing five damage and inflicting knockback. See, there we go. That's that's pretty good. Uh, I wonder if it just readjusts the order or if it actually pushes them back one, like, chunk of time unit or, or, or what. Stun unit, heal it for nine life if target is undead. Ah, see, okay, life shock. This, this is really actually very, very interesting. Wait, if target is undead, damage it instead. Okay. Um, the fact that we can stun a unit, that, that's actually really, really, really neat because we can stun our own unit. We may want to stun somebody who is almost going to die because then they will not approach the front. Oh my god, that system is so clever. It's so simple, but so clever. Yeah, here, you jabronis. Quietly, the goblins approach the ruins, peering from behind a bush. They watch nervously as a pair of human adventurers awkwardly stumble out of the ruins. Deeming it too dangerous to proceed, they search for a more discreet way to enter the ancient ruin. Boink. Turn home after a... Ooh, we did it! Okay. Are we going to see what, like, the uh, between-the-run kind of thing looks like now? We shall finish. We shall finish. The goblins make their way under the tree through a dark and uncomfortably narrow tunnel. They miserably crawl through the crannies until they reach the tunnel's end. Unbeknownst to the goblins... They find themselves uh, intruding oh. into a human-infested establishment hidden beneath the tree. The crowd scatters in a frenzy at the sight of the unexpected trespassers. As the chaos ebbs, a surly innkeeper and his flunkies are all that remain. He turns to the goblins with a baleful glare, intent on exacting retribution. Ah, uh, right. Oh, hello there. The innkeeper, defiler of the ancient ruin. <laughs> Look how much taller he is than us. <laughs> oh, 
goblins are too cute. I didn't, uh, I didn't have time to readjust. All right. Suboptimal then. So what does he do? Can we find out? Nope. We can only find out by getting smacked by it. <laughs> ba -ba! I mean, it's the first, like, big fight. It's not going to be that bad. More cooks. <laughs> All right. So... Stun and damage the enemy. We could stun him. Can he resist the stun since he's a boss? Nope. Oh, so he approached. Okay, if an enemy is stunned, release a flurry of attacks, dealing a total of 27 damage plus knockback. Oh my god. You can see knockback how it works now, too. We shuffled him back uh, in line, for sure. Huh. Stone throw seems like a good idea. Okay, so can, we can stun either of them, though. Stun you. Hamstring. Seven damage and a stun. So we can readjust into the front there, if need be. Uh, five damage and inflict... Okay, you know what? For science's sake... Oh, it has to be the front. Yeah. Let's focus down the damage then, on the back while we can. He's tired. No, Peep Teller? Peep Teller's tired? What is this? Tenderize. Take 100% more damage from the innkeeper's tender smash... For 48 time units. Okay, well, thankfully we can do first blood on this cook. That actually worked out really, really well. Stone throw. Certainly going to be stone throwing upon the boss. Since it doesn't seem like he has any kind of diminishing returns on the stun or anything, it seems like we are... We might as well, right? You have six armor. Bring it on, baby. You got six armor, I'm hoping. Oh, that's cute. He you know, comes all the way up there. Crud Silver, you freaking hero. Tell the tale of Crud Silver. Sliver. I keep doing it. I like Crud Silver better. Uh, give an ally uncanny speed, making it move twice as fast for 15 time units. So it looks like there's a cap on the stun, so we could maybe, like, life shock him. But I, I feel like we might as well just... Let's get a KO, right? Action economy and all that. We want to kill him before he gets his attack off. That's probably the best, most effective thing we can do. Uh, stun son. Okay, so yeah, that shows that we've used up half of his attacks that he would do. Oh, it only lasts for four time units, though? Okay, well, we can explode this guy's blood blast. <laughs> Goodbye, mister. <laughs> uh, okay. He's up here. <clears throat> We're going to incept with uh, Crud Sliver. Oh, my God. We really get to really just do exactly whatever we want here, huh? Sure. <clears throat> There's no nobody else, so there's nothing complicated we can even do here. Oh my god. Alright, so this is gonna send us to the back. But we will block this attack, theoretically. And then stun him right back. Well, we won't block the attack, but we'll, we'll take the attack and then we'll send it right back. Boink. Why can't we wait? I I, I do wanna see why we couldn't do those attacks. Okay, so knock back. Let's see how that... Oh, wow. It really does push him back quite a bit. More. Yep. More. More. So... Hmm. Let's just go for the punch here. You, you won't get pushed back quite as far that way, too. If damage is what we want, then that's what we should do. 
Because you have to keep, you have to keep it in mind. Yes, stones throw. Like, I, like here. I'll do it when it's this guy. <clears throat> Wait. So did it the uh, did the watch run off? I think the watch might have ran off finally. Uh, which sucks. So why can't we do this? Because there's no enemy stunned, and there's no anybody any any money any money who's bleeding. This game is fascinating. I just this is this has got it all for me. This has got it all for me. All right, good. He's un unbled, undamaged, so that works well. Shockwave. Wait. Oh. That didn't go off yet. Okay. That can only be the front enemy. Let's keep on focusing down the uh, the actual innkeeper himself. Also, yeah, you're, you're tired anyway. Keep on stunning him. Keep on stunning him. Pushing him back. Intercept the next two. Two attacks of the target enemy. The stun applies to everybody, right? And he's already got partially stunned. So let's intercept, since he's already partially stunned, let's intercept the middle one's attack. Just to try and... Uh, I, cause it seemed like you, there's a certain amount where... Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, we can't st we can't uh, we can't pause or, or we can't wait. Oh man, this is disappointing. Oh shoot. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get more range units like there's if nothing else, there's obviously going to be something like an archer. I'm going to keep on I'm going to go for you. Like an archer, there's obviously going to be something more like a traditional mage. Of course, there's going to be you know there's going to be. I'm very curious to see what other kind of units there can be. Because that is really what would uh, take the game from good to great, you know? like Or from <laughs> from great to just to mind-bogglingly great to me. I am I am very interested so, so far. Like, you can... A lot of times I can tell pretty quickly if I'm going to enjoy something. Uh, so we can actually do that. That's really good. Super ideal. We want him to to take as long as possible here to, uh, to do his action because he might summon another set of two enemies if we do, if we're not careful, basically. Good. Like there's actually oh yes, 17 damage. Wait, 12 physical damage. 200 percent. So, uh, undealt bleed damage. That's 24. So, we do 34 damage with this. Or 17 damage. Of course, we want a blood rupture. Is it, this is the execute. Wait. Ooh, wait. We did 25. Am I missing something? Or did I, did, did I math wrong? Good job, gang. Good job, gang. Let's adjust our, our adventure party as well. That's more what I wanted. Alright. Take all. Goblin sword ham hammer. Wait. Goblin slash sword slash ham hammer. Why does it say goblin specifically? Okay, hold on. We can go to the inventory? Scrapping. How do we equip that then? Weapons requires the raider. Okay. He, oh, that's why it says fists. Okay, so it does s slash. Just a standard, just a standard old slash, right? But it's definitely way better. My or plus twenty percent stun chance and plus ten percent max life. Uh, Vale Dowser, you are my you are my king. So yes, you get that. <laughs> look at that. I love that. There's the symbol here, and then there's the actual like three uh, D kind of character model edition as well. I love that. I love that. Bana.
Rescued Crud Sil Slammer and Much Mamer. I can't. Crud Silver. The Lair. Certain game features in the Lair are still under development. The complete experience will be available in early access. A horrible blight lurks in the old woods, br bringing terror into its wake. Seek it out and destroy it. So here we have our base. Oh my god. War room. Oh my god. Raider guild. Armory. It's all of our equipment. Barracks. No goblins. Total active goblins, 0 of 10. Adds 20, plus 20 to roster size. Oh my goodness. There's so much that's going to be here. <laughs> uh, Warrens, what's this here? Place a goblin to breed more goblins. Uh, okay, so they're all on our team. Do we have to have six on our team? I mean, I I probably shouldn't breed them right now. Anyway, houses your main population of non-adventuring goblins. Six out of 30. Okay. Shaman's Guild. I mean, that's going to be where we have our shamans. Skills unlocked two. So that's okay and then this is where we have like our food and materials gotcha super super cool super cool ancestors upgrade the heart of the lair and the home of the goblin stone ancestors we have no all the goblins who have died and, con and contributed to your ancestry okay let's upgrade that Okay, an additional one stone is needed to upgrade the Ancestor's Hall. Oh my god, I'm so into this. Okay. Alright, campgrounds. Squatters. These guys are new, right? Play A place to recruit outsiders or browse the visiting merchant's wares. Uh, I love the name <laughs> Much Woofer. So let's get Pond Lopper. He's a peon. So uh, maybe they uh, can be upgraded in some way. So he's a guard. Okay, cool. We do not have a weapon for a guard. Can we can we recruit all these? I don't know if there's some kind of penalty for that. All right, so much woofer, what are you? You are still a peon. Okay, okay. So how did we... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do we figure out... I guess we just hit the world button, right? Maybe we'll be able to adjust our party that way. Old Woods. Merry Foothills. Lair. You know what? Oh, hold on. Step one. Let's go back for a second. Where do we adjust our actual party? The, probably the war room. That would make the most sense. We have... Yeah. Yeah. Pond Lopper. I love the name Pond Lopper. I love the name Much Wolfer. I love the look. Look at Pond Lopper. He's got them curly old ears. Uh, you know what? Let's bring out. What is it? Snow Reeler? Let's bring in Pond Lopper. Yeah, I don't think we have any weapon for him. We do not. He's only got his fists, which means we probably shouldn't bring him. But with a name like that, I feel like we got it, right? Uh, what do we got here? Horror in the Woods, Scout Mary Foothills. Locate the Shadow White and slay the Shadow White. Okay. All right, let's head out into the world here. Ba -ba. To the Mary Foothills we go. Rich in these resources, numerous medium forests. Yeah, this is very Dark Dungeon-esque in that regard there. So we can assemble our party. We can adjust them. I do want Veildazer first. Then I think Crud Silver. So I, I think that this is... The, I, I might want to do it in this way. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, Pond Lopper. You do not belong here, do ya? I wonder, do the uh, goblins themselves have individual levels and everything? 
Unsure, unsure. Do, 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 do. In we shall go. In we shall go. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Good stuff. So what is this exclamation point? Are you saying that he's ill-equipped? Because I that is that is true. Jeans, strong back. Uh, increase your inventory size contribution by two. Whenever you suffer a mortal wound, gain plus twenty power till the end of combat. What? Okay. Harvest some more. <laughs> Sound effects there. So good. Th th this game is like, it's just oozing with so much polish. I am, I am floored. Oh, we got to, we don't always fight uh, humans. Gotcha. Good. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like it. It does like a, a shing sound effect when you pull out the, the meat chunk. Oh my God. Veil doesn't doesn't have that attack now. Oh my damage! Twelve physical damage over fifty time units. I don't need to attack him. I wish I could attack the back guy, but as far as I'm wait. Oh, first blood can target any enemy. That that changes things. Okay, I mean he he's going to take that eventually i mean it's fine uh he's next up so we'll do this we'll put on our retaliate eight i forgot that that would move him back <laughs> yeah the managing the tank character is really uh really interesting so when does this happen oh i actually was just i right clicked that there it's fine he should he should die over the course of time there Oh man, I feel bad now. Uh, we shall inflict some knockback there. This should be a not a problem at all. Meat blast! Oh my god, that, that meat chunk we got is so Problems much stronger. Small, but in battle they are not without merit. Okay, so we can also just hit space there. Oh, we got a gem! Wait, is that a better stick? Is that a more different stick? <laughs> click, 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 click. It looks like it's... I, I, I'm assuming it's the same. I'm assuming it's the exact same. Uh, who would we even want to put it on? I guess it would be you guys. Yeah, it's the... It, it's the same thing. Pawn Lopper, you can't put this on, can you? Has to be a raider. All right. Just making sure... What's this? Large adventure stuffs. They did a good job making it clear that it's run down and garbo, so I didn't try and put it on. It's the little things, you know? It's the little things. Going mining. Oh, we can keep going. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Oh, little boob. Little bug fight. I mean, let's first let the that yeah. Why not? So we were able to first blood this time though. But we cannot blood rupture. I feel like the first blood went with this character is a missed opportunity since we probably could one shot with another attack though. I think is the thing. damage with a chance to stun or 10% chance to stun maybe 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 if this wouldn't push us back so far I would say sure let's go for this very small chance to stun we smack we smack we kill yeah the bleed uh, for these enemies that have lower HP like that we should just be going for the uh, straight up damage Sure. 
we'll, we'll go for the stun instead on that. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Wait, we can't... Why can't we do our knockback? Hmm. Why are we not given the ability to do our knockback here? Heal damage allies for six and tired or exhaust enemies for nine. So, does that heal them twice? Got seven. I guess it was just uh, enough to top them off. Execution, first blood. <laughs> sure, I shall execute you. Oh, I didn't see <laughs> Oh my god! Slahoofer! Holy moly, Slahoofer! Alright. Veil Dowser. King of Meat. Slayer of all. Their arrogance lies shattered. We've done it! Easy peasy. That was a medium one? There's probably like a long and an extra long then, huh? Alright. Gems and artifacts can be safely sold to the merchant for gold. Gotcha. What's that one there? Scout Whistling Heath. Okay. All right. So we got a couple new people here at the campgrounds. Hook, hooker, ear nerner. Excuse me, mister. <laughs> Hook ear nerner. Oh, fine. Oh, it says what they'll be. They'll be a sh you'll be a shaman. I see. I see. I shall recruit you, but be on your best behavior. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a reason not to? I, I, I'm sure. Like, if we were gonna be playing a bunch more and we had to be a little bit more concerned about our population, uh, maybe then it'd be a different story. But right now, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Active. Oops. Hold on. Whoop. So we would probably want to breed the ones that we think would have, like, really good, I don't know, really good passives, I imagine. Like, what do you have for your, you have your stats. Four body, six mind, six spirit. What is your genes? Melodramatic, when you die, fully heal all allies. Ferocious, whenever you suffer a mortal wound, gain 20 20 power. You have a lot of stuff. Resist increase by 25%. Your magical attacks do 50% less damage. Oh, so that seems like a bad thing for a, uh, a shaman. However, if we maybe bring in Sash Barter, this feature's still in development. Understandable. I was going to say, I was surprised that it was already in the game. It didn't seem right. Houses your roster of adventurers. So how do we, uh, can we upgrade them in any kind of a way from here, from home? I'm sure that there is going to be a way. Or maybe they just level up by, uh, by popping out, you know, Let's head to the war room. I mean, I'm relatively satisfied with the people we have. We just don't have a, uh, we, we probably should just bring another raider is the truth though. Oh, they're, they're breeding. Why are you breeding? Why are you breeding there? Okay, so we want to bring, uh, probably, truth be told, we'll bring out Pond Lopper. We'll bring in Sash Barter since we have a weapon for you. That's the only reason. Not that the fists are inherently, like, seeming like they're that bad, really. Crud Silver. Sliver. <laughs> it's the story of Crud Silver. And the never, never correct name. Alright, so yeah, this is just... Oh, there's the merchant right there. A. So we can sell gems, it said. It said that didn't matter. Uh, 
I, I don't know if this counts as a gem. I'm going to assume yes. Oh, look at that. Here's the tools. Imbued carcass. Shield for the guard. Axe for the raider. Hex. 15% uh, damage versus small. <laughs> okay. Uh, plus 16 power, plus 9% power. Chop attack with your axe. Okay, well, let's get this. Can we also get this? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, it's expensive, but we, ha we have a lot. Okay, so let's do a trade. I'm not going to do nothing else there. Let's go to the war room. We'll pop on in. We'll give... Let's see. You know what? Slahu, for you've been with us longer. You get the cool axe. And then Much Mamer. You already have a crude magic rock. Uh, let's bring in... Wait. Pond Lopper isn't a shaman. Pond Lopper is just... A peon is is effectively a class, I guess. Right? Can no longer... Veteran goblins can no longer change class. Four gems can... Wait. Gem can be collected when it retires. Has not yet been on an adventure. Okay. Oh, I like you. Can, can you see their age in their face? Is that what's going on? Oh, that's that's great. Okay. Well, the last. Let's bring uh, Sash Barter. Get out of here. Lamp supper. Come on. We got a, we got a, a imbued carcass for you. And we'll go out on one more mission here. I would keep playing this for a long time if I did not have a time commitment after this. And uh, as long as there was things to do. Let's go up here. Numerous medium force. Let's do it. All right. Seems good. Seems good to me. You think you'd want the tank out front, but it's not a. It's not your standard kind of uh, layout for a party. It's not like whoever's in front is the one that's obviously taking damage because these guys are potentially getting safer by being first because. If they can attack... <laughs> they didn't have to do that, but they did. That's great. They make it so the characters freaking fall over. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, being in the front does not necessarily mean you're the one getting attacked. It may... If you're fa uh, a fast enough character, that would mean you are less likely to... Oh, we can avoid him. We could avoid the fight. That's cool. I like that. I like that. It's just one man, and we're fighting on a hill. Absolutely. Meat blast. Ooh. I mean, not great. All right, so how much does do? 18. Boink. Yeah, not a problem, even in the slightest. And then I love how it just converts right back into this overworld, just like that. Straight from the battle. That's It's so nice. So we could climb to fight that guy, or... I'm going to, for the sake of curiosity... Ah, so we have a locked door here, so we need to actually go back and look. Oh my god, I actually love that. Hello, it is me, I'm gushing. It is me, I'm gushing, I'm well aware. I apologize. <laughs> I'm just so excited by this. Alright. We should be able to KO easy peasy. Just with two attacks before he, that guy even goes. I mean, we might as well go for the weakest thing that will finish them off so we get to go again quicker. Right, let's, uh, we'll intercept here. So we just lose, lose less damage with our other characters that matter. Uh, the PNs are, they're not even necessarily, you know, they're not even necessarily bad. So, Crud Silver's tired, too. The knockback should help us, you know, be less likely to uh, actually take a hit there. Let's try this out. Will that make him go first? Oh, that makes him go first. Gaming! Nice. Nice. 
we were actually able to to utilize that effectively good 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 so is the key going to be in like one of these bags or do we need to go actually pick it up from somewhere we shall see interact this shirt this knack okay rumbling far up i think that that was the key i think it was the key but it was more realistically it was a it was a switch per se right yep all right all right good stuff good stuff good stuff got a carcass oh surprise battle with the dang worm from the ground does he qualify as small look how cool he is it's not just they really like they really did it you know they really did it they didn't have to make a cool centipede look at that like he's made out of the earth he's got the stone on his backs he surprised us start combat further on the line Blast him. Oh my god, we do so much damage. He gets to go again. Uh, is that a stun? That is a stun. Oh, that sucks. I think we need to intercept his attacks. Does that make us tired? Because I think it did. Yeah, it does. Is that anything that's not a 20 bopper makes us tired? Is that what it is? Good, 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 good. Stun a target and heal it for eight life. So we could theoretically do that to you too. That looks to be a, a, a little cheaty jerk. Okay. Bleed, please. Actually, nothing doesn't really matter. We're gonna be unstunned. We are gonna be unstunned, son. No season one. We up in the trap in order two. Foolish creatures. Foolish creatures. God, for a, for a demo, this is really, really solid. I have absolutely played uh, fully released games that have less polish. <laughs> I, I am excited to see what a, an early access looks like. If this is just a demo. Bye -bye. All right. Good, good. All right, that is that. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to be where we have to call it here for today. Boy, I, uh, I'm i very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. So yeah, I, I'm assuming it's kind of like, as far as the roguelike nature of it, I, I I wasn't sure if it was one. I still like, I if you would consider Darkest Dungeon a roguelike, then I would say you would consider this a roguelike in the same sense. You know, de definition be darn whatever. It, it, it is very very similar to a darkest dungeon uh as far as the slay the spire elements and the, the, like the definition that was coming from straight from the devs uh that was not me just making it up myself i i was just that's what i was told from the devs i i don't quite i mean sort of i guess i sort of, not there's no deck building there's no deck building so i think that that's what would probably be uh, misleading about that claim. It's got, like, I see the the similarities in the other regards and, and just, like, the fact that Slay the Spire is kind of like an RPG-esque thing, you know, if you take out the, the the deck building, but kind of a very integral part of that. But alas, I, like, I I don't care. Like, this is better than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this to come out uh, in a more full form for me to play i i'll almost certainly come back for the early access release if not like just finish up playing the, as much as there is in the demo because i'm i'm wowed i'm like really wowed this game is very cool very very cool not a there's probably not a lot to it yet you know as as mentioned it is a demo 0 0.1.38 the demo down there you will be able to play the demo for this later this month with the link that'll be at the top of the description for now just if you are interested in it make sure you go down and hit the old wish list button that is the big thing you can do to uh to help out the game right now but alas i am retromation that's my name put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day so if this is the kind of genre that you are into as, as mentioned that you know it's you know similar to like a darkest dungeon kind of flavor of a quote-unquote roguelike 
Um, I play so, so many games in that in that style uh, that your wallet will begin to hate me very quickly, I imagine. Uh, thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.